How's it going everybody? Today I put together a quick tutorial on how to set up a DHT11 sensor so that you'll be able to read relative humidity and temperature with the Raspberry Pi. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get started. The things that you'll need for this build include a DHT11 sensor. You can find these from various sources. Um, there's multiple uh, types so in this little baggie I have the DHT11 with a breakout board with three uh, output pins uh, you can find just the sensor with four pins but in my experience these work a bit better so go ahead and get yourself one of these I'll leave a relevant link in the description you're also going to need uh, three female to female jumper cables and a Raspberry Pi it can be any flavor so let's go ahead and start putting it together so I'm gonna go ahead and open this bag real quick Okay, well, now that that's out of the bag, um, we can see that the three pins, there is a ground pin, data pin, and a VCC pin. So I believe VCC will be plugged into the 3.3 volts, and then ground goes to ground, and then data goes to any available GPIO pin. So I have a white, black, and brown jumper cable set so I'm going to plug the 3.3 volt or the VCC end into the white and ground to black and brown to data so I have a I have it attached here um, one of the jumper cable ends is actually clogged so I had to cut it real quick but uh, that shouldn't be an issue for you but now everything's hooked up on the sensor side so I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to the Raspberry Pi so we get the white which is VCC hooked up to 3.3 volts so that's the first pin on the bottom row on the left most um, then we have ground which is the black cable goes to the third pin on the top row I believe And finally, we have the data pin, and we'll just say GPIO 17, which is the six pin on the bottom most row. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me double check my work here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and we're good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that needs to be hooked up. Now that that's done, let's hop over to the computer and look at the code. Okay guys, now that you're on your computer, you're going to want to navigate to this Git um, project um, made by Sazal. It's a DHT11 Python library. So go ahead and copy the link and fire up um, an SSH session for your Raspberry Pi. I've already done that here as you can see and all you need to do is type git clone and then paste the link and now you should see it DHT 11 Python so CD DHT 11 Python and you should be presented with these files so the one we're concerned with right now is the DHT 11 underscore example so we need to make a few changes before we run it so type sudo nano dht11 underscore um, so scroll down and go to this line here and change the pin to 17 because that's what we currently have set up and one more thing that I 
I would suggest doing is, oops. Oh man. Is adding another line for Fahrenheit. So to do that, we need to type print temperature CentDF result dot temp. divided by 5 plus 32 typo here and you should be good this should this should be it so then control X Y enter and now we're ready to run so Python dht11 underscore sample hit enter and boom there we go so now we can see um, it's displaying, displaying the temperature in Celsius Fahrenheit as well as the relative humidity and it's also telling us the last valid input time um, and it's just looping through so if you see this you know everything's set up correctly and that's a, this is a quick and dirty way to get the um, temperature and relative humidity uh, using the Raspberry Pi and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave a link to um, the parts and the, the Git project as well. Um, if you like the channel, leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more upcoming vids. Peace.